You're a real live person, aren't you? I thought I was all alone out here. I bet you came from that city over there. Could you help me, please? I'm a projection, silly. My brother and I are part of the Mages Guild expedition. Well, freelancers, really. We got separated from the others as soon as we arrived in Cold Harbor. But we're not slacking off. We're investigating this old library. We drew straws and I wound up on watch duty. But when I saw Daedra seal the entrance, I found another way inside. To rescue my brother, you know. But now I'm trapped too. There's a lot of magical projection stuff in here. That's how I'm talking to you. The Major Guild gathered a team of the best dungeon delvers from across the three alliances. Members of the Undaunted, just in case they ran into any ruins or relics. My brother went into the old library with a couple of other treasure hunters. You got it. Look, my brother's the expert, but I think the Daedra are using the projection lenses to spy on the people trapped in the library. As long as the lenses are active, the doors won't open. I'm thinking sabotage is in order. That's my thought. I'll provide whatever help I can from in here. I can tell you this. One of the other scholars, she called this place the Library of Dusk. Couldn't wait to start exploring. Please hurry. Whatever the Daedra wanted can't be good. These swords, they must be a clue. Now where did those fools run off to? Creatures. Just slaughtered. Nothing ever changes. By Ifra's hairy feet, you outsiders just keep showing up. You and everyone else in this forest, it seems. My clan has already declared your allies to be trespassers. You don't want to know what we do to trespassers. The Shadow Walkers will catch them. They always do. Does a fuzzy newt goat have seven toes? Don't look at me like that. It's a perfectly appropriate analogy. Anyway, I hope I reach them before the Hunters do. Otherwise, your allies don't stand a chance. Because I'm tired of seeing people get hurt. Ugh. Things need to change around here. We've already spent way too much time talking about fuzzy newt goats. I really need to get moving. Have you noticed the swords left near these campfires? I think your companions are trying to tell us something. I'm going to keep looking for them. If I can reach them before the Hunters, they might just get out of this forest alive. Keep your eyes open and your weapon ready. The shadows here are not your friend. than the penalty for entering the moonless walk.
You need to be alive. You have to be. I need you to help me. I... I didn't do it. I swear. He was like this when I found him. This poor soldier. He didn't have to die. At least the Khajiit got away. How long can he manage to survive, though? I don't know. My clan can be very persistent. Because we made a stupid deal long, long time ago. We became the guardians of this forest in exchange for power and immortality. But look at the cost. Now the Shadow Walkers hunt anyone who dare sets foot in these woods. There might still be a way to save the other soldier, the Khajiit. But you need to trust me. I won't oppose my clan directly. They're my family. But I can help you find your friend. I just want to make sure no one else gets hurt. The Shadow Walkers use runners to search the forest, but you'll never see them. They become one with the shadows, all but invisible when the clan is on high alert. There is a way to see the runners, though. You need to collect the bark of a Spriggan. The bark's magic allows the creatures to... How should I put this? Feel their way through the dark woods. Infuse the bark with the wisps of light, and you should be able to spot the runners. Your friend is out there, being hunted by my people as we speak. If you have questions, ask them quickly so we can get back to the task at hand. My clan is ancient, older than you can even imagine. Our tree mender tells stories of the before time, when we lived under the bright skies in the lush forests of Valenwood. According to the stories, the Daedric Prince unleashed his fury upon Valenwood. Instead of fighting back, my ancestors decided to offer their allegiance to the Prince. And here we are. Gave up. That's one way to look at it. Another way is to see a clan that wanted not only to survive, but to gain a significant advantage. The Shadow Walkers love power. In exchange for servitude, we were promised power over our enemies. I explained this to you already. I'm tired of darkness and false promises. Molag Baal gave us power, but he keeps us trapped here. What good is power if we're stuck in this realm forever? I want to see clear skies and stars in the night. Did you get the bark? We don't have much time left. Just scrape a bit off the top end. There. An old trick I learned living so long in this dreadful place. My friends thought it was funny to hide from me, so I'd use this to see them. It also has an interesting side effect. While it allows you to see anyone hiding in the Shadow Realm, it also masks your presence from them. I've used this method to avoid patrols and sneak out of the forest. It really works. But remember, the effect is temporary. It doesn't last long. Touch the bark to a wisp of light, and then cross the bridge. The runners are searching for the remaining soldier. When you spot a runner, follow him. He should lead you right to your friend. And if the effect runs out, just touch another wisp. What's all that noise out there? I could have sworn I heard something.
Why are the creatures acting so strangely today? There has to be something out there. Where in Ifra's name is that sound coming from? Leave the outsider quickly. alone, warm bloods. You will not harm him. Come, outsider. While they are distracted, we shall find a safer place. does not understand the game the little elf and the snake thing are playing. But we have something important to do. We need to get into this tower. The key to our victory. It's in there. I know this to be true. We heard voices in the woods. We thought it was other members of our expedition calling to us for help. But Captain Alfari figured it out. The voice comes from this tower. Whoever is locked in there needs our help. And he will help us in return. 
The wood elves started hunting us almost as soon as we stepped into this dread forest. They killed Captain Alfari in cold blood. I barely escaped. The snake thing found this one, lost and injured, and led me safely through the woods. This one isn't sure. The little elf appeared out of nowhere. But at least she didn't try to kill Kabu like the other elves did. They both claim to know how to get inside the tower, but Kamu doesn't trust either one of them. A safe haven in this place. Kamu looks forward to seeing such a thing. Let me rest for a moment before I head out. I wish I could go with you, but until my injuries heal, I would only slow you down. Good luck, my friend. This one doesn't know very much about this area, but this one always has opinions. Ask what you will, and I will answer. It's the least. Oh, what a choice. Like deciding whether to roast slowly or leap right into the flames. There is no good answer. But if we were seeking allies, Kamu would choose the elves. They are strong and capable. They could be a great help against Molag Bal. organization and fighting skills, but Kamu can't deny their ferocity. Perhaps they are worthy of consideration as well. I know you can't forgive my clan for what it's done, but they adhere to an ancient promise that will never come to pass. I can help you though. No one knows that tower better than I do. But I need to ask for your help in return. It's important. You have to help me convince my clan to break this ages-old agreement. We've guarded these woods and that cursed tower, assuming that one day Molag Bar would reward us and let us return to Valenwood. But that's never going to happen. Like me, you've been outside this forest. You know about Malag Bal's plan. You know about the plane meld. You have to tell them that our agreement is worthless. How can we ever return to Nern if Molag Bal destroys it? Those monsters. We've been at war with them for ages. My people will never listen to you if you take their side. The Shadow Walkers are powerful. We would be of great help to you. But only if you aid me and convince my people. I knew you would help me. I'll show you how to get into the tower, but first, you need to convince my people to end their service to Molag Bal. And to do that, you'll have to prove yourself to my clan. In order to help my people, you're probably going to have to do some things you may not like. You need to accomplish a deed of honor before they'll even let you near them. Otherwise, you'll be greeted by a hail of arrows. I don't want to get into details with the Lamia standing nearby. Meet me at the bridge to the east of here. We'll talk there. Just be careful. Any other Lamias you meet won't be as friendly as Zygnith. 